somehow, some way, this situation has helped you to get to a sense of stability within yourself, has helped you get, get to a place where you can stand on your own, where you can choose for yourself, ultimately. There, there's a sense of growth out of, a, out of like an adolescent mindset. There was a sense of uh, being a slightly naive and not because, not for like any fault of your own, just it just felt like this was something very new to you. But now it just feels like you've grown up. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Happy Wednesday, happy hum day. Yes, welcome, welcome. It's so good to see you all. I hope you're having a good week so far. Please don't mind my wet shoulders. I showered this morning. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so this is going to be your general energy reading for your day. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading, yes, so whenever this resonates for you or whenever you watch this reading, this could resonate for you in that moment, but if it does not, don't fret because it may resonate for you later. Just, you know, put, stick a pin on it and um, maybe check it out later. There is a playlist on my channel um, for morning coffee reading, so if you want to... Um, if you want to go like look through that and maybe look through the archives and see if there's anything that stands out for you, I highly recommend that you do so. When you do that though, please make sure that you pay attention to the title of the reading, not necessarily the date. When I first started doing morning coffee, I dated the readings, but I'm not doing that anymore because these are timeless readings, yes? Excellent. Um, also, uh, if depending on what we're talking about here, the roles could be reversed, all right? So keep that in mind. So a few announcements. First and foremost, we do have happy hour tonight. Yes, I will be doing happy hour. So the floor is officially open. If you'd like to get in on happy hour, please make sure to follow the link in the description box below. All the information can be found there. Uh, $25 for a single question reading. Um, you can send payment to paypal.me slash divine conversations. Please make sure to put your question in the notes section of your payment so that I have it ready to go so that we can just do that. Yeah, I don't, we don't have to like let's spend time trying to get the question. Um, if you are a patron, if you are on Patreon, look out for a post on Patreon today for your extra discount. Yes, if you are a patron, you do get an extra 15% off of happy hour. Yeah. So make sure to look out for a post on Patreon today for the happy hour discount code if you are a patron. Yes. Second announcement, and I am super excited about this one. I finally have some merch ready to go. If you check the link boop, right up here in the top right of your screen, um, if you're watching on a mobile device or on a piece of computer, the link is right up here. Also, you can find the link in the description box below to my Shopify store. We have an official morning coffee mug, y'all. I finally got that done. I am super excited about it. I was able to get a new logo and everything. It's super cool. I'm super excited about it. I'm super happy about it. And I think you guys should all check it out and get yourself an official morning coffee mug. Yes? All right, y'all. Other than that, I have nothing else to say. Other than I might need some more coffee. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna get started here. We're gonna be using the Mystical Manga deck today. Um, that's this one. Let me see if I can get the box to show you guys. It's right down here. Ooh. The Mystical Manga Tarot. This is one of my favorite decks. And then uh, we're going to be getting clarity, and I'm most likely going to get clarity from the Los Carabello deck, which is... Uh-oh. What did I do with it? Where's the... Oh, which is this one. Yeah? All right, y'all. Let's get into this here and see what we have for the day. Here we go. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. 
please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies of the situations in, or, or of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, guys, let's get into this here. Oh, um, I should clarify something. If you're a patron, part of the inner balance package and the, what is it? The full Monty, then you get access to that extra discount code, yeah? All right, cool. Five shuffles here, one. Two. Wet shoulders. Number three. Wet shoulders. <laughs> oh well. Hey, at least I showered, okay? Gosh. <laughs> oh, this is four. And this is five. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm laughing at myself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. What do we have going on for today? What do we want to talk about today? That's enough. Okay, they're saying stuff there. All right, cool. We have the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I like to see that. We have that with the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. It feels like... Um, it feels like you've made a decision or somebody here has made a decision um, in terms of what's going to be more balanced and reciprocal for them. Um, it seems like what it feels like here is that actually this may have been a really a difficult decision to make because it feels like somebody was weighing or is weighing. Gosh, this is hard to put into words. Um, I feel like what I, okay, what I just heard in my head was checks and balances. It feels like there's something that's been going on for you or something that you've been experiencing lately that's been causing you to question whether or not something is, I guess I want to say moving you in the direction of your 10 of cups. It feels like whatever it is you've weighed here, this, the six of, I'm sorry, the six of pentacles energy almost kind of feels like justice right now because of the balancing of the scales. It feels like you've, you're making a decision in terms of what is actually going to bring happiness to your life, or at least what is leading you or continuing you on your path towards greater happiness and fulfillment, the Ten of Cups, okay? There's one last card here. There's the Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this may be an extension of that reading. Was it yesterday? The, the reading in which, yeah, it was yesterday in which we were talking about being over it. If you haven't seen that reading yet, go ahead and check out that morning coffee playlist or just check my, my feed. Uh, you'll probably find it, but the, the, the name of the reading is called Over It. And in that session yesterday, we were talking about how the, just, it, the emotional investment is no longer there. Okay. Um, and so what the Page of Wands in reverse is speaking to here is talking, oh, sorry, so much sunlight. Um, the Page of Wands is talking about not, I guess, not being invested any longer or not wanting to put your energy into a creative project any longer. The Page of Wands may also represent the fact that you're done talking about it because the Page of Wands could be a messenger here. No creative, no creative juices left, no creative flow available anymore in this circumstance or situation, but ultimately that's okay because it does feel like you've made the right decision. It does feel like you're going in the right direction. You do have the Six of Wands here. Underneath the Six of Wands is the Nine of 
Cups, and then the Four of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. I feel like you have some pretty strong peace of mind at this poem, at this moment, okay? Six of Wands is talking about a victory, is talking about overcoming something, is talking about public recognition. So this could be something that you've been dealing with for a long time, and people may be looking at you now, now that you've made the, this, this decision, and now that you're, I guess, seemingly going in a different direction, we could say, people may be looking at you like, whoa, that's a pretty bold choice. Like, ew, excuse me. Like, we didn't, or I didn't expect that you would be going in that direction, that you would be, like, actually doing that. And you're kind of like, yeah, actually, I am doing it, and I feel great about it. Nine of Wands. I'm sorry, Nine of Cups. There's a sense of a peace of mind here. Four of Swords. Clarity, understanding, maybe even uh, peacefulness, calm, tranquility. Ace of Swords, knowing the truth, or at least having expressed or spoken the truth or moved forward from the truth. Damn it, I just noticed my nail. That's some bull crap. Anyway, I like this, though. It feels good. Again, it does feel like it could have been a difficult decision to make, okay? And maybe it wasn't the most difficult decision, but ultimately it was the situation, it was, it may have, I, I, what I've just heard is it, it may have, it may have weighed on you or may be still weighing on you, but yet the pressure has, a lot of the pressure, it feels like, has been released. Okay, let's get another pull here. Continuing with this story then, please, Spirit. Okay. The Hanged Man is at the bottom of the deck. All right, change in perspective, enlightenment. Um, I do feel like what's happening here for you is you do have a change in perspective. And I guess we could call it enlightenment. I don't know if you necessarily want to call it that, but I mean, a spade is a spade, you know? Let's call it, let's just go ahead and call a spade a spade, right? And not to say that you're like woke or anything like crazy like that, like whatever, I, I'm over that term anyway, but it seems that you've come to a greater understanding of the situation, or at least you see the situation from a different point of view. And that, ex and that specifically is what's putting you in a position to decide or make a decision as to what is going to be more balanced. What is going to, again, what is going to continue on your path towards ultimate happiness. All right. And now you do have the Knight of Wands here. So interesting, there is a there is progress going from the Page of Wands, which is in reverse, to the Knight of Wands. So it does feel like you've grown up in a sense. You've come to a more mature element, a mature energy, and you can't it seems that you can look at this situation, not to say that the, the Knight of Wands is like the end all be all of maturity, no, but he's definitely a step up from the page. So I feel like there was in this situation for you, um, you may have approached this from a sense of being a little naive maybe not necessarily knowing better and feeling like you wanted to work this out. You wanted to stick this out. You wanted to persevere. You wanted to see this through. And then ultimately through the in-situation, you basically grew up. But I, I mean, we'll, we're using that for lack of a better term, I guess. But really it's that you gained a sense of enlightenment or a change in perspective that's allowing you to be a little bit more mature here and to take greater control over the direction in your life. So sorry guys, please excuse the sniffles, but allergies are being kicked up today. It's been raining a lot and um, it's really windy, so that's just blowing up all kinds of allergens. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like I want to get just one more pull. Last pull from this deck here, and then we'll move into some clarity. Oh, okay, I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> We're back to the Six of Wands again, right? And then you have two more cards that have come out here. Ooh, wow, okay, the world and the Nine of Pentacles. The... Somehow, some way, this situation has helped you to get to a sense of stability within yourself, has helped you get, get to a place where you can stand on your own, where you can choose for yourself, ultimately. It, it, it almost feels like, I, I don't know, the image that I'm getting in my head or what I'm feeling about this is like something equivalent to like graduating from kindergarten. I, I mean, and going from kindergarten to first grade, like like 
moving from kindergarten to like straight up into elementary school in which you have a greater autonomy i mean given the circumstances obviously you know what i'm talking you, you guys know what i mean that maybe it's not kindergarten maybe it's and i guess i guess i'm getting the kindergarten um uh uh uh, uh, relation from this page of wands here. It does feel like there was a sense of ad there, there's a sense of growth out of a out of like an adolescent mindset or something that was just remedial. I mean, I don't mean that in a derogatory way. It just feels like there was a sense of youth naivety. Na I don't know how to say that word correctly, but. Uh, being a slightly naive and not because not for like any fault of your own just it just felt like this was something very new to you this was maybe something you had never tried before or something you had never done before or a, a project or a, a creative endeavor or something that was just a new thing for you and and through it up until this point now you have been maybe in a little bit like of a, a a younger frame of mind or a more naive frame of mind but now it just feels like you've grown up in a way so sorry please excuse the sniffles here but like i could sit here and blow my nose for like an hour and it, it'll still <laughs> it'll still build up so sorry about it but it does feel like what this situation has been for you was a moment for you to put get your feet on the ground and start to stand on your own and it seems that's why that's happened or it's the, it seems that is what has happened and now this situation is no longer necessary you can move forward from here okay ew all right Let's start clarifying. I'm gonna pause for a second. <sighs> okay, my nose is a little clearer, but that's probably only gonna last for like five minutes. Oh well. All right, I, let's get clarifying here. Um, I want to start with this page of wands in reverse. Let's talk about this. But we're gonna give this five shuffles to start. Yeah, one. Two. Some clarity, please, spirit. This is three. Four. And five. All right. So let's look at the page of wands to start. What is the page of wands energy in reverse here, please, spirit? Okay. Three of wands is at the bottom of the deck. Uh them them skaters. Anyway, three of wands is at the bottom of the deck. It feels like you're continuing on your journey. There's definitely an energy of having grown up in some way or reached a, a, another level of a sense of maturity here because what's come out on the page of wands to clarify it, and this is a big leap, okay, but it's the king of pentacles. So it feels like whatever has happened in this situation for you, whatever it is you're moving on from or whatever it is you found a victory in, it has helped you to solidify your stance within yourself. It has helped you to come to a period or to a place in your life where you can be more self-confident and maybe even more self-sufficient, okay? There's one more card that's come out here. Okay, it's the Magician in Reverse, but it did fall out on the world and the Nine of Pentacles. And what this is saying to me is um, part of the reason why... Okay, I just heard creatively moving in a different direction. Part of the reason why you're moving in a different direction here is because the situation that you were part, a part of or whatever it is that you were, were, you were involved with that you're now moving on from... It wasn't allowing you to manifest what you wanted. It wasn't allowing you to have, to hold the creative vision that you hold for yourself. And 
maybe you got into this situation because you wanted to learn, because you wanted to experience something new, and now that's run its course, and now you're able to, you have found the inspiration that you're looking for, or you found the creative flow that you were seeking, and it wasn't possible for you to do that in this situation that you were in before. The Magician in Reverse. And maybe this King of Pentacles is representing a, somewhat of a tyrant, an individual that is I don't know an individual that maybe is just in it for themselves it feels like it could be somebody that's just holding on to everything and keeping creative control and not allowing anyone to use their creative abilities even though maybe when you got into or part of the reason why you got into this situation was because you were told you were going to be able to have creative freedom only for that to be ripped away from you or stripped away from you. It kind of feels like if that's the case for you, that was never actually the truth of what was going to happen. This individual was always going to keep creative control, no matter what. <laughs> I just heard they sold you a pipe dream. But maybe now you realize that and that's why you're moving forward towards something that's going to lead you to greater happiness. You're continuing on your path here. Three of Wands, underneath the Three of Wands is the world and judgment. Um, also the Eight of Pentacles to the Five of Cups. I feel like, I feel like, first of all, in this situation, you could have done a lot of work. And either all of your work fell short for some reason because somebody, I guess, wanted to be an asshole. Or you weren't given credit for it. Or at least the credit that was due wasn't... Not to say that you were, you know, you they would be singing your praises from the hilltops, but at least, like, at least some sort of acknowledgement. That wasn't even given. But all is not lost here, right? Five of Cups. You still have your creative vision, and you're still going to move forward with it. Ace of Wands. Um, but I guess it, this just not was not the right situation for you, and you're being called... In terms of moving on in your path here, Three of Wands, you're being called to end this cycle and rise above. And and and, and maybe even, I, I, quite frankly, this feels like continuing on your own, at least for right now, to a certain extent. Okay. So, all right, with that said, let's talk about the Knight of Wands then. What is this Knight of Wands, please, Spirit? Six of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. With this Knight of Wands has come the Four of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So there's that Ace of Wands again. There's that creative vision or there's that drive or that inspiration, right? And it feels like, number one, 22, 22 on the counter. Ha ha ha, everything's going to work out and be fine. But it feels like you or whomever is deciding to move forward on their path here, you were constantly giving of yourself or constantly providing some sort of inspiration. And somebody just didn't seem to want to take it. So because of that, you're like, you know what? I'm not going to fight with you any longer. I'm not going to fight with this any longer. I'm just going to move on. Six of Swords. Moving on from rough waters to calmer waters. It just feels like this was, this has been, it, it feels like it is easier for you or this or whomever is dealing with this. It's easier for you to just cut your losses and move forward instead of trying to fight for validation, fight for recognition, fight for the, the ability to be able to input into this situation. That seems kind of weird, but look. You have the Six of Swords here at the bottom of this, the clarifying deck, and you remember you have the Six of Wands at the bottom of the original deck, all right? So your victory really is in just cutting your losses and moving forward. Okay. I mean, yeah, all right. Closing Oracle Guidance. 
to close out this reading. Let's go with the Crystal Mandala deck. Yes? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Five shuffles. One. Two. Now I will say that the the saving grace here or the blessing here is I feel like as you're moving forward, you, as you're moving on, you have a greater connection maybe with your sense of creativity or whatever it is, whatever this drive is for you. And that's really going to work in your favor as you move forward. Um, <laughs> like it's almost as if this situation has set you up to really be in a good creative place or a good a good driven place and they're kind of gonna miss out once you're not a part of the team any longer. This is three. <laughs> I mean shit. I don't know what you want me to say. This is four. And this is five. All right, closing oracle guidance here. Please, spirit, for this reading. Okay, you have card number five, 35, Ascended Master Babaji and Diamond. So it shall be. We bring you the blessing of so it shall be. There are times when you will go through your life journey without any sign of what is going to happen. You may be working hard to heal an issue or build your dream and not really know if you are ever going to be successful. You may hope for the best, but not know whether, but not know whether you should really expect the worst. You may sense that the universe is asking you to trust in how things are going to turn out and yet giving up your uncertainty is difficult. That usually means total and uncompromising commitment is difficult too. Where there is uncertainty, there is often hesitation and procrastination. Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on your dreams because you lack faith and therefore are holding yourself back from going for it, quote unquote, with all you have within. So you are being given the blessing of divine decree, of absolute confirmation of success and the divine granting of a wish fulfilled. Switch your thinking from possibility to inevitability. It is not a question of if, but when. Know that you are going to succeed and commit yourself completely. Don't hold back. Go for it with gusto. According to divine will, you shall manifest the highest expression of your divine destiny this lifetime. So it shall be. So there you have it, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys over on happy hour tonight. I, I think, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, my mind's all over the place. Um, I, I look forward to seeing you guys at happy hour this evening. Also, make sure to check out uh, the store, yeah? Get yourself your official morning coffee mug. But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>